custom game browser version 2 has been confirmed for season 8 of the MCC, bringing some new games with it as well. And an epic Halo 2 event comes to conclusion with some proper trash talking in mind. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So I know you're all probably thinking about the Halo Infinite news that recently just dropped, but MCC is still doing its own thing as well. Of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about for Halo Infinite, I got a video right here if you guys want to check that out. The video is on the channel. But in this video, we're going to go over the recent MCC development update, which reveals some really interesting things about the custom game browser and how it's bringing some new games to it as well, which is super exciting. As well as some other features that have been confirmed for Season 8 of the MCC. So if you like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let us me know you want to see some more content like this if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite make sure you tap subscribe let's get right into the content here so as we do every Friday we get a nice little MCC development update now the last few except the last one has been pretty light the last one was actually pretty in depth which we will cover later on in this video but this one we're going to talk about the newest one talking about the custom game browser version 2. so what entails version 2 well it says that they're working on adding additional games into the custom game browser improving the interface adding filtering options improving sorting and addressing bugs and quality of life features so what exactly does that all entail well adding more games is something that a lot of people have requested and well that's definitely happening another issue has been trying to filter out lobbies as there are a lot of custom game browser lobbies out there but you know when i'm hosting a server i want people to be able to find me and it looks like they're refining that ability saying there will be a filter and a simple search functionality to help narrow down the list of game sessions and a really great feature for those people who want to jump into a lobby that's full which really you can't really do right now saying that we're working on adding a functionality to allow for players to join into a queue while attempting to enter a game session so basically if you see a game session that you really want to join but it's 16 out of 16 players are in that lobby you can join into a queue so eventually when someone drops out another person can join right in that's a great feature to have to have for these kind of server browser kind of features so what kind of games are they hinting at saying that it's happening They've been adding more games to the and stuff like that well we scroll down a little bit we have a screenshot looks like they'll be adding Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 3 to the custom game browser. You can see that they have also the filtering options of games included, game categories, maps, regions, teams, and also max players as well. And even searching advanced settings like tags, which would be super useful for finding specific lobbies or even just general lobbies that you want to join. Say you want to join like a BTB lobby, a Team Slayer lobby, an Octagon lobby or something like that. You can probably throw in a tag right there and you'll be able to join in and filter all out the lobbies that you don't want to join which is super fantastic here's an example of the browse feature the new ui added as you have the session title the title of the game the game type the map and number in rotation the map players and ping as well so when can we expect the custom game browser version 2.0 to come with us guys well it says if everything all goes as planned we'll be hitting all of this by season 8's launch this year now when you say season 8 this year it kind of concerns me about exactly when we could expect to see the release date of season eight as season seven was released back at the end of june which would be two months later would be the end of august like next week and we haven't even flighted this yet so i'm assuming this is going to be pushed back to probably mid if not even late september when it comes to season eight's release unless 343 plans to do a short-term flight to kind of just get your hands out there see how it works anything broken no okay ship it kind of thing which i'm assuming might, might be the case we might see a pretty short flight like a weekend only kind of thing just to make sure that there's nothing glaringly broken with the flight process and if that's the case we'll probably see the season release the following week after the shortened flight but of course if any of that information comes live guys I guarantee i'll let you know on this channel but there is another feature that will be joining in with the season 8 release and that's gonna be weapon offsets this is something that we actually was flying it back during season six flight and test they end up getting pushed back but it looks like it's gonna be added in with season eight essentially for most of the games you'll be able to change your depth horizontal and vertical placement of your weapons and weapon offsets will be supported per title for ce 
Halo 3, Halo 4, ODST, and Reach. Notice that Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary were left out in the situation. And this is what 343 stated, saying, due to the fact that there are three different Halo 2 engines, we are only able to provide a single set of sliders for classic slash campaign Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer weapons at launch. We hope to split these settings out in a future update. So it sounds like we'll still have the feature of being able to do your different kind of weapon offsets, but it seems like with Halo 2, it might be a little bit more rudimentary. And eventually over time, they'll be able to work on it as Halo 2 has been known to be a notoriously messy engine to work with. This is a feature that people have been requesting since the release of MCC on PC back in like 2019, was it? Back in December? Glad to see it's finally coming into the MCC and hopefully give people a little bit more customization. Now I see some critics saying that it doesn't go too far when it comes to the weapon placement and I can understand that. Uh, you also, I've heard people say they want to do Doom style where they have the weapon dead center, bottom mid of the screen, which would be kind of funny, yes. But uh, I think if you're going to do a developer made version of this, you want to maintain the artistic integrity in some capacity because they do mention that if they try going beyond the certain parameters per game that you'll see some weird clipping issues with the animations and things like that so you still want to maintain like the cohesion and also the immersion of playing the games as well though since this is going to be patched into the game i'm sure there'll be some kind of mods released later or some kind of tweaks you could do to the files on pc to make it so that you can maybe expand your weapon offset placement even more if you don't care about the weird glitchiness of animations and things like that happening. And in some external fun news when it comes to the MCC, there was recently a classic Halo 2 event with Twitch rivals and that concluded. And guess who won? It was Team Elamite, Team Agency right here with his brother Ace. Riz legit and also Optic Maniac as well involved with this. Ninja himself actually boosted up the prize pool to 150,000 from the original 50,000 because Ninja can just do that. He has way too much money to spend pretty much. And you can see from this picture how the 4v4 prizing panned out with Agency going 3-0, grabbing that whole thing, Carbon going 2-2, two and two, Final Boss 1-2, and, and Straight Ripping 0-2. Oh if I remember correctly, Ninja also gifted like 100 subs per competitor as well within this whole thing. So Ninja is showcasing some big support for some classic Halo 2, but you want to know my favorite part about the Halo 2 throwback event? was while she's trash talking, and this is why. I think you're getting the number one draft pick. If you do lock it in, do you have a player in mind here, Dave? I do, but like, I'm not just gonna give that out. Like, you know, that's, all right, it's, it's Ace. Here's the thing is, it's not because Ace <laughs> is like one of the best at Halo 2 right now. It's because I want to prove that I can win anyone. And like, since I can't choose Elamite, oh. like, all right, I can take someone like Kyle Elam and bring him to a victory. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I can take Elamite's brother and bring him to a victory. And so that's what I just want to prove today is that I can take even someone like Ace to a W. So yeah, some absolutely epic trash talking right there from Walshie, because if you guys don't remember, Walshy is pretty much like the king of trash talking when it comes to Halo back in the day. I mean, this guy's a legend back in the Halo 2, Halo 3 legend days. And so knowing that he's still got it with the trash talk is just so great to see. Now we do have some more information from the recent development update about Halo Infinite and it's certainly it's issues i guess you could say when it comes to the bad news we're gonna cover that in the next video here guys but if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out the videos right here in my playlist so i got news updates every day i've been uploading so that's your chance to catch up with all the halo news going on so if you guys like this news informational video make sure you tap that like button i'll catch you on the next one peace out